ACC CRAM, English Language Conventions, Verb Tense, Past Tense versus Perfect Tense. As you may already know, or you'll soon learn, we cannot discuss the perfect tense without building our concept of past participles. ACT Foundations, Question 7. Me, Medicine, Antidote, Your Ignorance. Verb Tense, Past Tense, or Perfect Tense. Complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb. I blank my sister for teasing me when we were kids, but I'll never forgive her for being better at basketball, mom joked. Is the correct verb form answer choice A, forgiven, or answer choice B, forgave? You decide. Here's what I need you to understand. The perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. It uses a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of a verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form, but not always. Some verbs have irregular past participles. You have to remember them. Toby had seen that movie. I have run a marathon. The tree has grown taller. Claire will have eaten dinner. These are examples of some irregular past participles. The past tense does not use the helping verb to have. It uses the past tense form of the verb. Toby saw that movie. I ran a marathon. The tree grew taller. Claire ate dinner. These are all examples of past tense verb forms. All right, back to the original question. Now for the solution. Forgiven is the past participle verb form of the verb forgive. It is used with a form of the helping verb to have to form the present perfect tense. Forgave is the simple past tense form of forgive. The given sentence does not use any form of the helping or sometimes referred to as an auxiliary verb to have. Thus, it does not need the past participle form of forgive. Forgiven is not necessary. It's incorrect. Complete the sentence with the simple past tense verb form forgave.